Hey everyone, this is Lenny Bond from Nokia Innovation. And I'm here to just give you a quick review on the Scosh Boom Bottle. That's this right here. And I actually like the Boom Bottle. It's a pretty nice piece. It's weatherproof, which is a big plus. It fits into the, I guess, the water bottle holder of your bike, which is pretty cool. It has a volume down, volume up button here. It's this middle button is the power button. It's a multifunctional button, actually. It'll help you change tracks, answer calls, etc. On the back here, you open it up. If you could see, we have the USB port and a 3.5 millimeter jack port. It also comes with um, a micro USB to USB charging cable. You could charge this through your computer. Obviously, if you have an adapter, you could hook it onto the USB and then charge it to the wall. It also has this little twine right here, as you see. This twine will hook onto this piece right here, and then it gives you this nice little clip. You hook it onto the twine, and then you could just like, I guess, hook it onto anything you might want to hook it onto. As for sound quality, I have it paired with my Nokia Lumia 1520. And it's actually excellent sound. Um, I'll just hit on my Nokia music right now. And I'll show you, if I hit the play button, the music should start. If I hit it again, it pauses as I just did. If I double tap it, you'll see that it changes the actual song. as you can see there. And if I hit it three times, if you had music stored onto your device, it would actually um, go in reverse, but it, I don't think it would do that with Nokia Music, obviously. And it don't. Um, what else did I want to say? Sound quality is very good. I compared it to my JBL that I have here, and uh, I think it's on par with it. One thing I like about this, it is weatherproof, so that's pretty good. Um, no fear of actually having it, I guess, out in the rain, and I almost knocked my uh, camera over. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, as for size, I prefer the size of the JBL for outdoors. It's easier to carry around. It's a more, um, it's more compact in that sense. The JBL is shorter, yet it's wider. As for um, the differences, the JBL really is uh, NFC enabled also. So with my Nokia phones, I just tap it and it automatically pairs. Um, that's really a tiny issue for others because probably 95% don't even use NFC. Um, Anything else, the differences between the two, the JBL also has a removable battery on the bottom. They both give about 10 hours of battery life. But aside from that, quality of the music coming through the speakers, um, I, I wouldn't say one is better than the other. One other advantage that the Boom Bottle does have over the JBL is if you feel the need to answer your call while you're listening to your music, or, you know, just hanging out, doing whatever on your deck, you're able to use the boom bottle um, to answer calls and to speak. It has a built-in mic, so you, you're able to answer the call without use, touching your phone. You could answer it through the tap of the button here, and, and you could speak with the built-in mic on the actual boom box. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions regarding the boom bottle, you could uh, obviously hit me below with any comments that you might have. And um, you could get this at your local AT&T store. I'm sure they'll have it in stock. I'll post a link on the site just so you can see where to get it and how much it costs. I think it's about $139 US dollars. So it might be about $20 cheaper than the JBL, but I'll have to confirm that once I post a link. 
Well, thank you. This is again, once again, Lenny Bonds from Nokia Innovation signing off. Bye-bye.